Welcome back everyone to the Britball YouTube channel. Today we're carrying on our world famous series. Today we're covering the LA Chargers, formerly San Diego. And let's jump straight into it. Oh no, actually, Ooh. quick message. We're oh, going to yes. reiterate. If you're watching this, you're most likely not subscribed. So if you enjoy the video, hit the sub. It'll mean a lot. Let's get into it. Okay, firstly, we have Justin Herbert, a quarterback that I absolutely love. So, there were a lot of doubts about him coming into the draft. Everyone was saying it's a bit of a reach for him at the sixth overall. People were questioning his leadership. Maybe he wasn't that vocal. Maybe he didn't really have a good as, as good of a college season as everyone thought. But he's coming to the league absolutely running on fire. He's passed for 4,300 passing yards in his first season. He's broken all of the rookie records, pretty much every single one, um, including the touchdown one, which was broken by Baker Mayfield only a couple of years ago. And he just looks like a, a prodigy. I mean, this guy's 6'5", big bodied, he can run, he's got a lovely arm, and he's pretty accurate as well. Like He has all of Josh Allen's traits, but he was a lot better. Like Her Her Herbert was so much better his rookie year than Josh Allen. He's not overthrowing, his deep ball's lovely, and um, yeah, a record breaker, and someone that they can build around for years and years. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else I can say about that, apart from the fact that if he didn't have such a poor O-line and such a poor set of weapons around him, he wouldn't finish 6-9 in his rookie year. Um, he got thrown into the starting lineup under suspicion, suspicious circumstances surrounding Tyra Taylor. Suspicious. Whether or not it was, you know, yeah, deliberate. the doctor stabbed him up. 100%. The doctor shanked him, and he got his fair go. Yeah. And they never looked back since. And he's no, there's no question. This guy's the franchise guy. They just got to build a team around him now, and then you're sorted for the next ten years. Yeah, yeah, true that. To be fair, his weapons weren't that bad, but the O line, very yeah. bad. But, but. All right. Kenneth Murray, linebacker at Oklahoma. Uh, they, the Chargers drafted back in to the first round to pick him up. Um, yeah, traded back in. Yeah, they traded back in. He's got a talent for keeping his eyes uh, in the backfield and attacking the pocket or bring down running backs and they're trying to break through the line, which has shown his 107 tackle numbers uh, combined. However, it's no secret if anyone's watched him that he struggles for coverage both in zone and man. He felt uncomfortable in college. He brought it back, he brought it into the NFL, and it showed. Um, it's not all his fault, though, because this is a defense that had their two best coverage players injured for basically the entire season. So he was thrown into a lineup where he what didn't know the system, didn't know what was going on. Um, so I do feel from in that regard. But when next season, when all the veterans come back, he needs a big, a big second year with them people around him to lead him become better at coverage but apart from that he hasn't done too bad yeah and this is someone who could do better with Doe and James back 100% yes. yeah. won't have to be in coverage as much you've got a pro bowler back there so maybe he can rush forward a bit more plug holes a bit more but yeah we'll give him a B we can't judge him too much but not a great rookie year right next up Jerry Tillery his name's Jerry but right so First year, very disappointing, I think anyone could say that. He was pretty lost in his rookie year. And, snaps. yeah, I mean, he, he, was he injured? Or I, they just didn't really... He was a bit part player, that's what I've got down. Just, right. just, he, I think Daniel was injured, he just wasn't chosen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, in year two, they really had to pamper him a bit. Like, <laughs> not really throw him in too much, but give him a fair share of snaps not too many snaps mm. and he has been a bit better i'll give him that after an awful rookie year mm. some production out of him with six sacks but yeah it's just not not a very good player no I, I, I would say that in his rookie year he came into the league injured uh, so he didn't come didn't start day one but when he did start he looked as if he was puffed he was out of shape when he came into the league uh, he couldn't really be double teaming he struggled against that um, but he is an athletic guy. He does have the tools to have a great career, but as of yet, his stats don't live up. That he's got a case for a longevity of, in a, of, of career in the NFL. But we'll have to wait and see. It's going mm. lovely. Oh, you get to see oh, Joe and Joe. Joe and Joe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy drafted out of Florida State, hit the game, hit, hit the NFL running. 
Uh, it was a rookie pro bowler in his NFL season of 105 tackles and three picks. It was a big part of, um, of the team that went 12-4 and four in that year. Um, he's, he's seen as a do-it-all guy, which that does come with its um, with its downfalls in the NFL. We've seen players who have come in as a do-it-all, like Isaiah Simmons last year, and they just don't know what to do. They want to do this, that, that, but they can't focus on specialising one thing. But he's fitted in perfectly. Good at everything. Um, yeah, strong safety, free safety, outside linebacker, he can do it all. Um, it's just... It's just a shame that he has not been able to play as many games as he wanted to because his yeah. injuries are the only thing holding him back from having a brilliant career. And he's, well, he's already having a brilliant career. It's just if he was fit all season, this Chargers defense would be looking completely different. Um, but until we saw, until he's got a longevity of games in him, I think that's the only thing holding him back is that he just needs to stay fit. Yeah. And this oh when he was part of that twenty eighteen team, it was so fun mm. to watch when Philip Rivers was in the twilight of his career, mm. in the back end, still slinging it out. Trash talking. The defense was great. Like they had two good guys at every position, pretty much. And yeah, it's a shame that they fell off pretty quick. But back with Herbert, he yeah. should be spearheading that defense. Oh, I'll get Mike Williams. Yeah. Well, so. Coming into the league, it's a big bodied receiver which are always hit and miss. I mean, you can, for every good one you can think of, you can think of a bad one like Kelvin Benjamin, someone like that. Um, this guy, not the best route tree, not the best um, like separation at all. Con he's a good contested catcher and he's, I've, when watching the Chargers, he is a bit of a bailout option for Herbert. If there's like not a lot of guys open, lob it up to Mike Williams. He could probably beat his man at 6-4. Contested catch ability is great. But a really bad start to the NFL. Like his first couple of years. First year I don't think he barely played a game. And then he's starting to pick it up now, starting to pick it up. And he could break out next season with Herbert. You never know. They have been building some chemistry. I remember at the end of one of the games where the Chargers like dramatically managed to bottle it like they do a lot of times. He targeted Mike Williams twice in the end zone. I'm pretty sure he caught it twice. One time his foot was out, one time the ball, the, um, the, the play got called off. So he has been building chemistry with him. Hopefully he can pick it up next year. Yeah, I mean, this guy, as you said, he doesn't rely on clean running routes. He doesn't have the ability to do that. He's just a very, very <clears throat> brilliant deep ball threat and when it comes to 50-50s. Um, I mean, he's got 35 touchdowns in 56 games that he's been there. Nine of them have been rushing, 26 of them receiving. So it's not that bad when you think about it. And he's, he's also, his yards after catch aren't that good at all. So he's very good at catching the ball and then just leaving it. But apart from that... He, he's he's he's, build, he's building his trust back with the team. Yeah, what an underwhelming receiving class this was, by the way. <laughs> Three wide receivers in the top ten, and they're all pretty average, apart from John Ross, who's awful. All right, next up, you got you want Bosa? Yeah, I've got Bosa, I believe. Um, wow. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a brilliant, brilliant player. Sounds like you're a little crush on him. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, uh, he's drafted out of Ohio State. He's a three-time pro bowler and easily one of the best edge rushers in the league. And his brother will probably follow in his footsteps as well. Yeah, um, he is. Yeah, he, he moves around his tackles with ease. Uh, he pressures the quarterback week in, week out. He's uh, nominated for and actually won Defensive Player of the Month so many times he's lost count. And he became the fifth linebacker in Chargers history to reach double-digit sacks. The first since 2005. So that tells you how much of an impact he's had on this franchise. Uh, he leads this team. He's a brilliant coach, changing the dressing room. And he will have had a brilliant career in, in well, years to come. But five years in, he's already got was it 47 and a half sacks. So he's averaging nearly 10 <laughs> a season. He's, he's a ridiculous player. Um, he just, if, if he stays healthy, he's got a few injury issues. But if he stays healthy... You know, yeah. them, them stats are even more ridiculous. But yeah. he's incredible. I mean, for three of the seasons he's had, he's stayed pretty healthy. He had over 10 sacks in all of them. So, yeah, if, as long as he stays one. all right, then, um, yeah. I mean, they've got a piece there that can stay there for another five years. Don't it's have to consistent. worry about pass rush, which is obviously one of the most important things you need. So, a great pick overall. Yeah. And that's it. And that's that.
That yeah, is so. the Chargers. Um, interesting set of picks, to be honest. Uh, they haven't really bust with any of them. Mike Williams is still, even even drafting in 2017, he's still a work in the making. Jerry Tillery is not the best, I admit that, but outside of that, they've done pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's a stable franchise. They are on a rebuild, obviously. Uh, but uh, you'll be looking this year at O-line for the Chargers because they need to work on securing out their, their future with Herbert. But apart from that, they've done very, very well. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Chargers are just such a frustrating team for me because I feel like they have good player in every position, but they just never seem to really kick on and they never seem to win yeah. games when it's close. Yeah. So, yeah, frustrating team, but onwards and upwards yeah. for our series. Which will be either the Broncos or the, or Raiders. the Raiders next. So, uh, we'll, no, we'll no, do... let oh, build okay. the suspense, build the suspense. Okay. Tune into the next video to see our opinions on the next five years of first round picks please 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 drop a sub because it means the world to us (laughs) outside of that see you guys next time